Is it my turn? It can be your turn if Welcome you're doing that. Welcome back to episode 57. Start over. The- Welcome back to episode <laughs> 57 of the Goofcast. I'm Nick. Got two leg Jenkins over there. I'm Travis. I'm Raymond. No, you're two legs Jenkins. And he's slapping his feet. Ugh. Anyway. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our completely professional podcast. No. How you guys doing? Half of this setting up was me and Nick being really mad about one of the cameras. <laughs> well, was, all I hear is yeah. gang, yeah. Did you guys like our new opening this week? Yeah. We have a new opening. I'm gonna force them to play that he's one gonna song. Make, he's gonna have. He's he, gonna well, make us play you mean there. Kevin McAllister is gonna put it on? That's right. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> Not me. I fucking hate that edit so much. <laughs> I, get it. It. I put in the edits <laughs> every fucking week. When you ask for edits, that's what happens. I heard it happen. I guess yeah. so. I heard it happen this week. It happened again. Dude, my shoe's dirty as hell. Yeah, right. Look at mine. Yeah, look at mine. More dirty. You don't take care of your shoes, though. I take care of my shoes. I'm a hardworking man. I stay inside all day. You're a hardworking man. You're... Why is this up here? I don't know. You threw it earlier. Well, it's not Halloween anymore. Yeah, it is. Well, I named him, too. What's his name? I named him. Welcome. His, his name is, <laughs> Let's get right in. Let's get right into it. How you boys been, dude? Uh, it's it's been a week. It's, it's been, been a whole week. It's been, it's been a long time. Hey, Nick. What? Has it really been a week, has it? Uh, it's been about like four days. When did we record the last podcast? Thursday. <laughs> oh. It's been a week. It's been a week. Ryan it's was here last time. So, okay, oh, well. Nick, how were you? Um, I hate school. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I really hate school. Yeah, he does. More on that later. That sounds like a heart. <laughs> More on that later, yeah. Raymond, how are you? How are you doing? You want to share with the class? He's, he's looking going. around. That means he's listening, right? He's isn't, that, isn't that what he said that one episode? I think so. I didn't say it in the episode. Damn it. Oh, he's gone, dude. But I've been okay. Lots of Borderlands and music. That's good. And top 10 waves. I'll say uh, Dance Kevin Dance has been a pretty big boy recently. What is Dance Kevin Dance? Kevin? Kevin you say Kevin? Yeah, I thought you said Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dance Gavin Dance. Oh. Uh, yeah. A big boy band that anybody could listen to if they'd want to. And it's based off of Gavin from Achievement yeah. Hunter. Is it yeah. actually? Yeah. yeah. The whole band is just Achievement Hunter parody songs. Yeah. Is it by Achievement Hunter? No. Yeah. But the <laughs> Achievement Hunter musical is out. <clears throat> is it really? Yeah, it was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Wait, there's wow. actually a musical? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was like a charity thing. Too Who's in it? Like, is it like the main people? Was it for Fextra Life? Extra Life? Fe- yeah. Fextra? Fextra Life. What's wrong with you today? That Extra Life. Why did I think it was Fextra? Oh, no. that's. Why did you think it was Kevin? <laughs> my nose itches. Let me go pick it. You guys going to ask me how my week was? No. Nah, it's okay. Okay. So anyway. We know what you did all week. <laughs> RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, but something very important happened in RuneScape this right, okay. week. What happened, uh, Mr. 999 US Dollars? Do you want to just put in the video? No. Oh, yeah, we have a video. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll say it, and then we'll put the video in. I got 99. Wait, nine, you got to tell me directly to put it in, the video. Raymond, can you put in the video, please? All right, Kevin McAllister is going to be again, or here again. God damn it. <laughs> you got 99 wood cutting. No. Oh, shit. Let <laughs> him say it. He's I already got that. 99 wood cutting. Nick, where were you at? Now we know where the true friend is, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I got 99 cooking. <laughs> Which is awesome because now I have two skill capes, which means that my skill capes are trimmed now. I got the trim on it. Yeah. It looks all nice. Yeah. I'm very happy because that was the last, like, because I always wanted this, like, woodcutting skill cape as a kid, but I wanted the trimmed one. And to get the trimmed version, you have to have two skill capes. And so now that now so I have two. do you combine them or do they just, like, no, it's like, like it's trimmed? Like the side of the cape yeah. turns a different color. How do, you get a, how do you get trimmed stuff? Do you just have to get a skill cape? Uh well to get the trim skill cape you have to get two skill capes. But. I saw that look Travis gave you. What you gave him a look as like I just said it. <laughs> like does it just automatically go or do you have to? Yeah like no talk it, to it automatically okay, yeah. happens. That does it happen more or just after you get two? It's just after you get two. And then it's when, never when you only have one it's just the basic bitch one. But now every one after that's gonna be trimmed. Oh sick yeah. How do you get a trimmed armor? Uh I'm not sure actually. Can you actually? Yeah. You do yeah, it? No, you can it buy exists it. and it's like expensive. Yeah, I don't know how to make it. But can you buy it or is there only like you have to have a skill or something? You have no idea? 
I'm not sure, actually. I really don't know. Because people... I think you have like, to buy it. Like, the old meme scam was like, oh, drop your armor. So I can trim yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, then they just uh, run off with it. Yeah, they're So I have out. no clue. I, I, to this day, I still don't know where it comes from. I don't either. That's I could easily question. Google it, but, you know. It's a lot of work. Well, Nick, what have you been playing? <laughs> I've been playing Outer Worlds and Absolver, actually. What's that? Absolver is this uh, fighting adventure game. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's interesting. It has a Dark Souls type like respawn system. Oh, really? So you just have like spawn points kind of pretty much. Yeah, you go through this like map and then there are like altars around and you <laughs> sit and it respawns all the enemies around okay. you. And it's really, really good, but it's super fucking dead. <laughs> when did you get that? Epic. Like a couple days ago. It was like on sale for seven bucks. Hmm. So I was like, See, yeah, Nick you know, is uh, with the indie developers love. That's true. Nick, I actually buy games. Because every time we see like any game conference, we're like the Nick section. <laughs> <laughs> ID and Xbox. Me and Travis have the not the attention span for most, which I'm sad to say. Because nope. a lot of them look really fun, but I, mean, specifically, I just can't play anything for more than an hour. Specifically for this one, it's like actually a fighting game. It's okay. cool. You Think know about that- like Tekken, but not huge brain. You remember that one fighting game, Raymond? Like, uh, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. Well, all the anime characters that we actually knew. What? It was one? on PS3. Had, like, Kirito and Shiz- Shizuo. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's on phone now. On phone now. Really? Yeah. It's on mobile. Oh. I didn't know. If it has mobile controls, uh, I saw an ad for it. <laughs> if I could use a controller, I would play it. You have to do a quarter circle on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I, I had a hard time playing MK3 on phone, so. Ew. Hey, Raymond, what do you think about the new MK3 game? <laughs> Ryan, what do you think about the new Mortal Kombat game? So, Lane, what are your thoughts about the new MK9 game? <laughs> so we, the might re- we might have to reference that one uh sorry ryan <laughs> his eyes rolled so luckily, hard his head moved. luckily ryan doesn't sound that different it's our friend lane that's a, yeah. that should be embarrassed it's all right he doesn't watch the podcast anyways oh, okay because yeah, lane sounds normal now yeah but when he made that video it's like hey guys i really like the clash yeah lane mortal kombat 3 <laughs> <laughs> and after that day his balls dropped not even uh-oh Still had a little bit. <laughs> okay, so the super volcano. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, Wait, tell me what you, or tell Nick what you told me yesterday. What the super volcano? Like okay. in Yosemite. Okay. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> I was fucking born that way, right? <laughs> Did your dad? Does your dad say it like that? I don't know. Hmm. I just always thought it was Yosemite. So in Yosemite, there's a super volcano that can completely cover the earth in yeah. ash for two days and just pretty much just, just fuck us mm-hmm. it's bad mm-hmm. what if we built a dome over it <laughs> <laughs> my question to you is what would you make the dome out of what's going to withstand molten rock well, it's melting rocks yeah we have nothing to withstand that temperature <laughs> but i mean it You'd doesn't have, to, have make... to necessarily withstand that it's just to like combat the smoke but then it's well it's going to have to be a few few mile radius wide do you realize that it's going to be launching rocks fast enough to pierce the stratosphere yeah okay because it won't contain the smoke it's gonna for there's two things it's gonna be pressure build up from the volcano yeah so that pressure has to release somewhere and it's going to be contained in a dome so it's still going to burst through the dome because that's why it's bursting through the volcano so you'd have to make something stronger than of a volcano and then you'd have to make something strong enough to withstand the heat of molten rock because then the base is going to be gone and it's just going to collapse. And do you know how big the hole is? That's what she said. <laughs> all right, Travis's thing went down really fast. <laughs> Look, all right. If, if it was like the Simpsons way... movie, it could work. <laughs> <laughs> just a way to keep in the ash. Yeah, but it can't. Because <laughs> there's a pressure release that has to go somewhere. And See, it's going to be contained in a, like a container, and is it's just going to burst out. The smarter, dumb idea is to put a tube on top of it so it just goes straight into <laughs> so space. <it> goes... <laughs> That's a just pretty good it. idea, honestly. Funnel it into funnel space. It <laughs> just use all our resource of whatever material it is, <laughs> and then we'll be out of it forever. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that idea. Cut. I'm going I'm I'm to pitch that to World Imagine Inc. it was that simple. <laughs> I know. 
That'd like, be nice, though. It is that simple. It is that simple. You just don't believe. It's that simple. <laughs> just got to put a tube on it. Raymond, do you believe so. in aliens? I mean, yeah. Good. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. Imagine, imagine believing space and you don't believe in <laughs> you don't believe in life because it's like my dome it's forever expansive and you're like, nah, there's nothing. Yeah, it's like, come on. That's I feel like you can guarantee that that person is conceited when they don't believe in aliens. <laughs> yeah, they believe that they are the like the only we life are form. the only life form. Okay, so. yeah, because it's like if this has happened one area. How has it not happened in the billions of now, more than you, billions you, of you, possibilities okay, where it can you, happen again? Do you say aliens are like? What if we find a germ? Do what? We, what if we find like a germ on Mars? Hasn't like, there already been like some sort of life on some fossil, other planet? Fossilized stuff like it that. It was like fossilized, like some sort of bacteria or something. Yeah. yeah. So does that count as alien life to you, or do you mean like? I mean, it's yeah. living. Yeah. It's living but are you thinking? Okay, it are you thinking of like? Right. But are you thinking okay. about something like similar to our size, or like an animal? It doesn't have to be that, right? It just it can be like a yeah. single cell celled organism. Yeah, as as we'll say yeah. if there's a star. I mean, it would um, be more interesting because I mean, if if you yeah, think yeah. about it, if there's signs of microscopic life somewhere else, we start from microscopic life. Yeah, yeah. Now we we're start this from a little cell. So like, it's like, of course, like it's so likely because literally, like Mars, which is so Mars close Mars. to us, like was pretty much Earth until yeah. it wasn't. So it's 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 already there, like. It's it's already like not that rare. Like it is pretty rare, but not like impossibly rare. It's like, weird that Mars looks hot but it's cold. Yeah, a lot of planets. That's weird. It means further away from the sun. Yeah. Think of like a tundra though. But it's just red. You know, yeah, like, you know, I see. Like, what you, mean. you know, like the the Russian plains, like the like the the plains of like dead snowy grass in Russia. Yeah. Like the tundra. That's what you're. Oh. It's kind of like yeah. Mars, except that there's like dead grass instead of just <clears> sand. <throat> It's pretty dope. Space is cool. Imagine, okay, imagine believing like being on Earth is the only sort of life that exists and there's no space. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't well, believe in space. What's the ratio of flat earthers that don't believe aliens exist? I'm assuming all of them. Do you think flat earthers, flat earthers think that Earth is the only planet that has life? Probably. I mean, they think the Earth is flat. I'm really scared to watch the Flat Earth documentary. I really want to. Because. But they bring a level on the plane and they go, look, see? Is that one on see? Netflix? <laughs> yeah, I think so. God damn and it's just like, I don't want. Have you guys seen that Always Sunny episode where no. he like tries to convince them that evolution isn't real? No. Yeah. And they all like in the end are like, oh, I mean, that's a pretty good <laughs> point. Like, yeah. I feel like that's going to happen. They're well, going to make some dumb, obscure point. Think, My like tired I brains mean, be like, <laughs> I mean, you can make if you put facts and say scientific facts for anything, you can make anything believable in the end. Yeah, that's true. If you give someone an hour platform, they can say anything they want. They definitely can. Because I mean, are we going to do the research on it? Nope, we're going to listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Okay, imagine like if you think the Earth is flat, that just throws science and everything out the window in space. So, like, how do you think the Earth exists? If it's flat, like so it doesn't if, make sense. If the Earth is flat, is the Sun also flat? That is makes no Mars sense. Also flat. Because then, how are we orbiting around? Why would we be a square object if we're orbiting around? Is, in a is circular the Moon motion? flat? I, I guess just, so. Why do I hear you twice? It's because it's because I hear it on the computer. The thing know. is like too loud. Yeah, can hear it. it's fine. You won't hear it on here. I I just picture it as like a two by four. <laughs> floating in space <laughs> the earth is just on because <laughs> if it was a sp if it was like if it was of. square if it was spinning it'd be more drastic because it's not a sphere yeah so oh weird. yeah like the forces yeah. would be on yeah yeah because then it would have because then it would have to spin then it'd have to spin completely 360 and it can't change axis ever yeah like ever <laughs> what if the earth stopped spinning like everything would just be like <laughs> I'm well, yeah, because sure. it's spinning yeah. so fast. If it just stopped, you'd fly. We everything would just fly away, pretty much. <laughs> That'd be insane. Because we were going at like an an un, 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 yeah. unimaginable speed. Yeah, I mean, if we were to get right hit by a, a giant, like an unimaginable size object hitting us and making us affect our spin, I guess <laughs> so we would go. We would launch. 
But that that would take something gigantic. Launch. Isn't that scary to we're, think it's like at any moment something can come flying just and a smack the Earth? Just smacking. Or even earth. like some like a planet size, something Wouldn't bigger than like, the Earth can hit us. Isn't there like a system to warn us of something coming at us? But what are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, it's just like you I can mean, see. There it. is. There is. Yeah. It's like like it's not gonna happen all at once. It's You're basically NASA just being like, <laughs> yeah, here it is. Just imagine well, like guys, just imagine every <laughs> single moment of time. We're lucky that nothing has hit us yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, things have hit us. Because everything's so far away. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Wasn't that thing like two years ago where there was like what? a giant meteor that was like- There was one coming super close. Super close to us. Oh, and By yeah. super close, it's like thousands of miles away, but it's close enough. Yeah, that's yeah, it's like closer well, like, than it It's crazy to, to think space is that big. We haven't collided with anything. I know. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing like major. Did you guys see like earlier- Last week, there was, it was in like Wyoming or Idaho or something like that. There was like a meteorite that fucking like lit up the sky. No, I didn't see that. Did it land or did it just burn up? It didn't, it burned up like probably like 30 stories off the ground. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh shit, that's actually really close. Yeah, that's really close. Well, I mean, think about, where's that one crater at that was caused by? The meteors when it, it's in the atmosphere, right? Yeah. Asteroids when it's in space. Yeah, right? asteroid is yeah. So, yeah. so you know they had that one impact like who knows how many years ago and there's that huge crater in the desert. Wait, oh, and the, the one in, that like, killed the dinosaurs? In New Mexico. No, not that. No, it's not one in the ocean. I'm yeah, that sure. one was in like the, the one Chick-Lotto I think it's New Mexico. Yeah. It looks like the one that's in uh your name. Yeah. Oh, it looks like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy the impact it does. Dude, how old that was that meteor? Me. I have no idea. I mean it's very very old so. like that scene in your name really scares me when the, like the meteor hits the ground <laughs> yeah like, that shit's scary dude yeah it was just like oh god it's like what do you, you do you know it's also scary too just black holes just existing i know and we can't swallowing us whole so and we're like, done one day like imagine a black boink. hole just happens pass by and we just don't exist anymore oh dude you know what you know it's weird huh because of how gravity works i saw that like the core of the earth is like one or two <laughs> younger than the crust Say that again. I because how gravity works, like gravity slows down time, like the yeah. more intense it is or something like that. The core of the earth is like a day or a year or so younger than the outside. Just because of how that works, it's kind of weird. So I'd be 22 in the middle of the earth. I guess so. Well, yeah, time passes different because like yeah. if you go on a different planet. Yeah. And then like Cause... there was like an episode of, yeah. do you guys know the Orville? No. Orville Redenbacher? <laughs> <At> the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like Star Trek, but funny. It's like a comedic like sci-fi show. So they got boarded oh. and then what they decided to do is stick the the tip of their ship in a black hole <laughs> so they could wait out the guys outside. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> they closed the door, stuck the ship in a black hole, just the tip and then they were like, "Okay, we're just going to sit here until they die or go away." And imagine it was that easy. <laughs> I hate that. Nick, you're really into sci-fi, aren't you? I like sci-fi a lot. What what are you gonna say? What are you gonna space man? Are we out of time? What, what? Well, guys, looks like we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut it here, right. and we'll meet you in we'll meet you in the second half. Ryan, we'll cut it you. now. It's drive you goofy. <laughs> and also our artist and music producer in the comments below. She's taking commission. I don't think I know these people. Welcome Sticks back. and stones may break my bones. No, that's not right. So you know what I got sent to me yesterday? <laughs> Sticks and bricks may break my ass, but words will always please me. All right, what'd you get sent to you? Um, I got sent uh, a pillow. <laughs> Nick, what is your hair right I, now? You looked at it right <laughs> when I did, didn't you? I have no clue what it looks dude. like. <laughs> All right, tell us about See what this happens big when package he doesn't wear a hat. I got, I got sent over Discord a link to a uh, pillow that has the like leggings of an anime character stretched over it or like knitted <laughs> to the top so you can what? like it's like a pillow right and it's a pet it's a pillow pet yeah <laughs> okay Except, so is it like a body pillow with the legs cut out can you put your legs in it so you can like that would be great but it's just like a fucking oval oval but team. it has like the the like the what is it like the tights the tight material i need to see a picture because i can't imagine it wait is it like a hole you could put your dick through or is it no, just, it's just like... there you can like rub your face on it 
on like <laughs> where, where's the hole at <laughs> <laughs> no travis you snuggle it you rub your face on it well you said anime pillow and it's like okay be yeah. realistic here like the hole's a the hole's an add-on it's an add-on <laughs> It's the DLC. Look, Pay man, more saw, for less material. I saw some pretty interesting pillows at Anime Expo, right? Like they had like leggies. And it was they have like, leggies. Yeah, they got legs, dude. It's like a normal body pillow until it gets right here, and then they have legs. That's kind of creepy. It's very creepy. And then there's a a hole there. Uh -huh. What are you looking at? For uh -huh. insertion. Uh huh. Why were you looking at Ryan when you said that? I was trying not to make eye contact with anybody as I was saying that. I was looking at the skull. <laughs> Why him? Because he, he wasn't looking at What's oh, your name no. him again? What'd you name him? Sherman. Julio? Julio. Anyways, yeah, so. That's cool. That's a I didn't see. Pillow. Oh, where was that? That was in the 18 plus section. I went there and all I could find was a racing hentai game. Maybe they were sold out Racing? By yeah, it's cool. It's like, you know, Initial D? Yeah. It's like yeah, that, it's cool. but with big titty anime girls. They drive the car? Yeah, they drive the car. Big, I really greasy wish that, I really wish that Initial D game at the arcade was just like on PC. Yeah. Please. I mean, there is that one cool remake the guy did. Yeah, but it's not released for everybody, is it? No. Just Some, him. So I want bastard. one. So if they just had one released, please. I mean, it's drivable. It's done. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Yeah. Oh. So in other news. So the, no more SpaceX talk? Are we done with SpaceX? We're, we're done, done with SpaceX. SpaceX. I think we are. We're done with SpaceX. We're moving to a new... We're void. saying Elon Musk so we can have him in the tags. But I want to know if you can guess what I was going to bring up. Because we're going to talk about a new dark void that's fading into the abyss. What? Can you guess? Give me a hint. If you want another dark void fading into the abyss, go to, <laughs> go to our channel and read the <laughs> Okay, what is it? Give what me a it? hint. Did it's you around it? here. Did you mention it? Yes, I've talked to you Did about the it. Abyss? I sent you an article. You didn't. Oh send me yeah, anything. I know exactly what you're talking they about. Didn't send me anything. Sears you, and Kmart. Yeah, you haven't been here long enough. Sears and Kmart. Uh, you don't get our pain. Yeah. Of seeing the Kmart down the street. Yeah. That's did you have gross. a Kmart by your house actually? Yeah, I did. Oh, I had did. the other Kmart. No, he his isn't too. closing. Ours is. Was oh. it actually? Is it, yes. It's done? It's gone. And Sears, right? It was gone, yeah. Like all the Sears? Just these ones? There's a lot of locations in Southern California that are being shut down. But <laughs> the Sears, Sears like, where, where my business. crib got bought got like closed down. <laughs> so crib. Sad. Your what? My crib. Like my dad bought like my baby crib. Yeah. Oh. At Sears. And I like didn't a have bunch a crib. Of huh? I didn't have a crib. Did you fall out of your bed? No. I stayed in my bed like a good boy. No, I don't know. Actually, I feel like I had a crib. What do you call it? I'm going to ask my mom. Is Sears popular like in other states? I feel like they are. Like, I feel like it's like a popular store like, I don't know, like. It was a very popular store it was very, in the 80s. It was really cool when I was growing up. I was yeah. like, holy shit, this I remember, is a lot. I remember going downstairs and there's like the electronic section and all that. I, I always used upstairs. to buy, I'd buy a bunch of tools. That's what's that never still used. there. You know what? Actually, Sears is the first like two-story department store department store is it into. yeah because like the uh, the mall that's near my house the only yeah. two-story things there are like macy's and like jc penny and that one other store that closed like yeah johnson and johnson or whatever the fuck it's called <laughs> bad joseph Bath a beyond bank. joseph know. a bank wait why is there a claire's and that one vitamin shop in every single mall i don't know even dead malls I don't know Is it why. like GM, GMC or GMC, something? GMC, yeah. Don't they also make cars? GNC. It's a different. Oh, GNC. Yeah. But they have different. like almost the same. Isn't it the same company? No. No. Nope. I wouldn't imagine They have like so. the same logo. Well, because GMC is yeah. General Motors, isn't it? Oh, yeah. They have like the red. That's why they look like, like Chevy. That's just GM. That's why they look like General. Yeah, that's why they look like Chevy. But GMC makes the medicine. medicine. No, no, GNC. GN, like General Nutrition instead of General Motors. I feel like they're. I bet they're the same company. They're not. Why would they be in the same? Well, they company? might be the same company, but they're not the same. That'd be like, so. I mean, name. Seeing how Disney owns everything, it's very possible. <laughs> what does Disney not own? Uh, yes, in the media. HBO. No, they own that. Do they actually? I don't know. I don't think so. Actually, stars. 
Stars. Is that a thing still? Stars on demand. What was that? Was that like was that remember, like Netflix? Before wait, Netflix? remember remember wanting like chartered so you can get charter on demand? What the fuck was charter? Because they'd have like their um, shows like cataloged, and you could like <laughs> go on like the hub center. And oh, then, like you could actually watch yeah. whatever you wanted. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Well, depending if it was on there. What? Well, I look it up and I go to a Reddit link that was first brought up, and it just brings me to a post saying, "How did old forts actually protect a strategic area? Couldn't the enemy just go around or stay out of range?" Wait, old forts? <laughs> have forts? No, no fucking oh. idea why. What? That's actually an interesting question, though. You know what's interesting, though? Every time I search for anything, like a Reddit post is always like pretty up there. Like, it's number it's the one front page of the internet. Yeah, I know. I know. I, didn't, I always forget how big Reddit is. I get the fucking mom sites and they're really annoying. Oh, remember the Yahoo like answer questions, whatever? <laughs> like every time. Have you seen the, like, do, I am do, the do, pregnant? Do, 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 do. No. Am I pregnant? Are you pregnant? You know yeah, that reminds like, me of too. Pregnant. Like I, I remember in middle school and we had to talk about like going to college or whatever, and our teacher got mad because everybody spelled college as collage. <laughs> He's like, "You kids coming from elementary school, you can't even spell college." <laughs> it was a hard word. I got so scared when he came up to mine. I was like, "Please tell me I spelled it right." <laughs> Luckily, I did. I was so scared. Oh, dude, that reminds me. I was me. so scared. You know what story I was told with college when I was a kid? What's that? My dad was like, "They have really big, tall seats." What? <laughs> I think I heard that too. Right? Like, yeah. What, what, what? They had really big seats. You know what? You know what else I just no, thought of? They don't. <laughs> no. You know what else I thought of? In Jimmy Neutron, they all had jetpacks. <laughs> What? He goes to school and he thinks he's all cool with his jetpack, and then he puts it up, and then everybody else has a jetpack. What? He goes to there college goes for that one again. episode. Oh wait, I think I saw the clip. And then and then they show up like a toga, and then they have a toga party. Oh, I remember yeah. that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what I envisioned though when my dad was like, or they have big seats, <laughs> big dick. <laughs> Dude, I was like four. <laughs> hey man, you gotta start I, somewhere. You know, I, I mean? imagined like really like bar stools as tall as people <laughs> <laughs> and like giant fucking bar tables for some reason like when you try to move a chair you can't because it's like a thousand pounds <laughs> i just imagine a normal chair with a really tall bag yeah <laughs> it's like i forget what show it was but it was like a room of counselors and like the chairs just had a really long bags yeah. and i was like is that what it is i just imagine nick's like you know like in elementary school it's like what do you want to do when you grow up it's like, I want to go to college and see all the big chairs. I think I might have said that at some point, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered. What's that? Jelly never drew the fucking, what was that dumb thing? What? The foo, you a foo or something like that. Oh, oh it was all Foo's gone it. wild. Foo's, Foo's gone files. wild, dude. Whatever it was. Yeah. She's never, she never drew it. She was supposed to, but she never did. What, what was fine. it supposed to be again? Like her as a foo? Yeah. <laughs> she was like foo. Foo gone wild. That was a really fun day when I discovered ass. when Nick discovered that. It was very good. <laughs> it was just like you and Jason just laughing at it for like three really hours. Because it was Foo's it's so wild. uncalled for. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I don't know why it exists, but it is it, it does. It's good. <laughs> Man, I really want to buy Teddy Fresh stuff now that I see you. Yeah. But it's Good. it's just, it's so expensive. It's so worth it, though. But it's so I expensive. I like their stuff. But I, I haven't come across a shirt I like from them yet, though. And I wouldn't buy a sweater okay. because they're too expensive. For I'm me, a sweater is like 70, yeah. Too expensive for me. Yeah. What was that, the, Nick? It was either Nick or Travis. We were going to bring up something we saw today. Oh, the, the people on the street? It was you. Yeah. Okay. So we were driving to... <laughs> He was taking me car. to get my car yeah. so for my oil change. That's what happened. And there was a car just parked in the middle of the road, and they were playing rock paper scissors. No, they were they were right? like handshaking. No, they were going like. No, they were like they were like going like. Oh, is yeah, that what they were doing? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but they're just parked in but the like, middle of the road with the door like one of the doors open. <laughs> one door open, and they're just parked in the middle of the road for no reason, just doing handshakes. Not in not in the house, like not in the road. Where houses are. It's yeah, like in like, the road. You know, like Main is. Street. Yeah. Past the golf course. Like yeah. when you're going to our Main Street. Yeah. Yeah. That that tiny strip of road. They were oh, dead middle. Yeah. Door open. Fucking doing handshakes or whatever. Sounds like some dumb shit. I really don't know why in the street. middle of the road. I don't get it. And, they and there's cars so coming by like both sides. Like me and someone else. And they're just staying there like they're the only ones on the road. I'm actually really glad that you brought that up. Because I was really. I woke up and like 
kind of panic. Yeah. Because it was... Dude, these past three weeks, you've woken up in a panic. <laughs> <laughs> I always wake up in a panic. <laughs> it was like 6.45, and I woke up, and I was like... like I told Raymond to wake me up when he yeah. got his car. And I went, to, I went to sleep like 2.30. And I woke up, and I was like, what the fuck? And I looked up the <laughs> dealership where his car was, <laughs> and it said they closed at 5. And I was like, did Raymond not get That's his car? <laughs> I was like... What are they just not going to give him his car back? I was like, what happened? And I was like, I need to text Raymond. And then I went to text. As I was texting, I fell back asleep. <laughs> and then I woke up to a half text to Raymond like, hey, car. And then I was like, did he get his car back? Yeah. And I looked out the window and your car was there. And I was like, I don't know what yeah. happened, but he got his it car back. Me and, me and Nick were talking while you were, were asleep. And I was like, do I wake up, Travis? Or can you just take me to get my car? <laughs> I kind of wanted you to wake me up, but that's okay. Mm. You always ask us to wake you up. Is it better for us to wake yes, you up in the just middle of the day? Yes, just fucking wake me up, dude. I don't know why everyone has such a problem waking me up. Because I don't like getting woken yeah. up. If I don't want to be awake, <sighs> I won't. Like, If you wake me up and I don't want to do whatever it is, I'll be like, no, and I'll just go back <laughs> to bed. <laughs> but for the most part, especially when it's about going somewhere. That's the time I really need Nick to wake me up because so he'll funny. wake me up like 15 minutes before our <laughs> class starts. He's like, are you are you ready to go? I'm like, why would you wait until 15 minutes before class? I remember I woke up one day and he was all making breakfast. He's like, yeah, should I wake up Travis? <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, you should. And let me eat first. But then he went to wake you up before. <laughs> and I was like, don't you leave at like 12 or something? He's like, yeah, I'll wake him up now. <laughs> Our class starts at 11. He wakes me up at 1045. He's like, are you, are you going to go? <laughs> yes. That's because I don't want to go either. <laughs> yeah, Nick, I know you don't want to go. I mean, neither do I. <laughs> the Like, Nick, the further we've gotten into the semester, the less I've wanted, I've wanted to A, do anything that revolves around editing, and B, go to class for editing. Wait, that's Nick. that's just how school is. Yeah. No. Wait, how does this compare to UCR pointless classes? Um, it's already better. Okay, good. It's still better. Even though that, that was I really such a don't drag. Care. Trying to get up for UCR sucks. <laughs> Every class I went to was like, great discussion today. I wouldn't go in, didn't read anything because I hate this class. Dude, like pretend I did. The teachers are the teachers here are like, oh. We we have a discussion, but I don't have anything to talk about, so you can just go if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's how our our lighting teacher is, right? Yeah, pretty he's much. He's just like, yeah, I'm done. You can go home if you want. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I'm done with you. Later. <laughs> what was his okay. latest story? What does he What does he talk about? You know, I I started playing RuneScape about like two weeks ago in that class, and I realized that it's completely fine if I do that because he just. <laughs> Talks. just kind of goes and then you absorb what yeah. information you need and things happen to like people start passing stuff around and i'm like oh wow look at this and then I just pass it along i mean it doesn't it help it doesn't help that uh you're doing a different major completely yeah yeah so you really don't need to listen no i really don't like me we might me and nick might be interested because like the, all the stories from in the industry so we're like mm, that's interesting i mean yeah. that interests me too because i am a theater minor yeah. but it's like he, mo- he mostly talks about like how different films yeah have like been made yeah like he he always talks about like heat or like what is that one movie he always like you can either be the playboy guy or the the guy that goes in the trees hey i used that the trees. earlier this morning wait what movie when we were writing our final when we were writing the story for it because i was mm-hmm. like like how at the end where <sighs> playboy like, guy when the girl shows up mm-hmm. like we could have them like go into the house and it's like implied that they get together or we can show them like like we could have them like end it and not get together we could show them like driving off and it's like oh they are okay. together yeah you actually did i used that. that yeah yeah what was it for? i learned something because our our like final project is like a short that we're gonna ah. make. does that even count as a short film or is it just a short? that's just a short yeah it's short yeah. like what is a short film but anyway, I mean, you could say it's a short film. Honestly, it's a short film. We're filming. I feel like a short film has to be like fifteen minutes at least. No, yeah. there's short, there's short films are like five minutes. Yeah. Still. Anyway, film. we ended our our things like this guy's <clears throat> like trying to psych himself out of going somewhere or psych himself out of like 
preparing to go because he's really nervous to go with this one girl that yeah. is and at the end is like he he's barely ready and he's like coming he's out not, at the door he's, he's like ready. hey can we have your girl be jason in a dress <laughs> no <Man. laughs> he absolutely cannot if it was for a channel yeah, yeah but this is for uh this is for our final and, <laughs> all people and and we can either end it with like them clearly going or like we can apply something he's basically saying are you gonna that fade you, the lights you're gonna go ooh. It can pads up in the trees and then the branches wave. And then the birds fly away. Yeah. Yeah. But that's basically what he's saying. Yeah, he's like, you want to imply something, you don't want to yeah. just spit it at them. Yeah, there's like the, <laughs> the Playboy way where you can show them having sex or you can have it like they go in for a kiss and then it pans up through the trees. And all Honestly, that. for a movie, mm-hmm. I just like when it's implied. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's like treating your audience with more respect. Yeah. It's more hard-boiled when it's like shown. Yeah. I don't like that word hard boiled. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that You're mean? You're a hard boiled man. Hard boiled egg. I always I always think of uh you know between the lions. Why? Yeah. Detective Why? detective fuck whatever and <laughs> parboiled the de- potato detective. Hard boiled, dude. What about cliffhanger man? <laughs> he made the cliff bars. <laughs> cliff man. Well <laughs> getting by that time. Oh yeah, we are. I got to pee. Were yeah. you not paying attention to the timer, Nick? No. He just got into cliffhanger. We'll hurry it I up. I got about a minute left. Okay. So we're going to pee. So pee, pee. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, Go forth and be happy and be Quick, say be something. Kind and say something another. very popular we can tag. Uh, uh, John uh, Impeachment. Barney 2020. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.